हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस नाउ वी विल सी व्हाट इज प्रॉफिट द अमाउंट गेंड बाय अ पर्सन व्हेन द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट इज मोर देन कॉस्ट प्राइस व्हाट इज लॉस व्हेन अ प्रोडक्ट इज सोल्ड एट अ प्राइस लेसर देन इट्स कॉस्ट प्राइस देन द पर्सन मेक्स लॉस So before doing any sum we have to keep in mind a few formulas like if cost price is smaller than selling price then it will be profit and if selling price will be less than cost price then it will be loss so two formulas are there that is profit equals to sp minus cp when it will be profit we can find out the amount of profit by using the formula profit equals to sp minus cp and we can find out the formula of loss by this formula that is loss equals to cp minus sp so here comes our first sum we can see the first sum Rita bought a teddy bear for rupees seven hundred and twenty-five. So and sold and sold it for rupees one thousand. Find profit or loss. So what we have to do is at first we have to write understand the question. Rita bought a teddy bear. That means when Rita is buying a teddy bear, that cost is his cost price. So we will write here. Cost price equals to how much? Rupees seven hundred and twenty-five. Rupees seven hundred and twenty-five. And when Rita is so selling the teddy bear, that means that is her selling price. So SP will be rupees one thousand. At first, we have to note this. From the question every time. So as CP is rupees seven hundred and twenty-five and SP is rupees one thousand, we have to see at first which is bigger. Here we can easily see that SP is greater than CP. As SP is greater than CP, of course it will be yes, it will be profit. Whenever SP is greater than CP, it will be profit. As we all know the formula of profit profit equals to sp minus cp so what we have to do rupees 1000 minus rupees 725 so whenever we will do in this way we will get our answer so in in the rough you can do the subtraction 1000 minus 725 Five, it becomes ten. Five, two becomes three. Ten, it becomes seven. Seven becomes eight. Two, so two hundred and seventy-five. So rupees two hundred and seventy-five was profit of Rita. Have you understood it? One more time, I'm telling you, Rita bought a teddy bear for rupees seven hundred and twenty-five. That means rupees seven hundred and twenty-five is cost price of Rita, and Rita sold the teddy bear for rupees thousand. That means rupees thousand is the selling price of the teddy bear. After that, we have to see which is greater. Here, SP is greater than CP. Whenever SP will be greater than CP, that time it will be profit. And the formula of profit will be SP minus CP. Then you will just write the number and you will do the subtraction. That's it. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood this. Next we will do the next sum. Here comes the next sum. Ayush bought a football for rupees four hundred and forty. Sorry, four hundred and fifty, and sold it for rupees three hundred. Find profit or loss. Like the previous one, at first we have to note down the CP. Okay, at first I am noting down the CP here. CP. Ayush bought a football for rupees four hundred and fifty. That means CP is rupees four hundred and fifty. And 
he sold it for rupees 300 that means the selling price of the football is rupees 300 and here we can see which is greater here cp is greater than sp that means cost price is greater than selling price and whenever cost price will greater will be greater than selling price that time it will be loss okay so it become a loss for ayush and we have to find out the loss value so loss equals to cp minus sp that means rupees 450 minus rupees 300 so that means rupees 100 uh, sorry rupees yes 150 is the answer